Let the battle begin! How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today, we're playing some more Octopath Traveler. So, in the last episode, we came here to Victor's Hollow in search of a man named Gustav, and found out he was fighting in a tournament that's being held. And in order for us to actually be able to talk to him, we had to actually prove ourselves so that we, too, could fight in that very tournament. And now all that's left is to actually fight in the darn thing. So let's do this. But before we begin, guys, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below to stay notified. All right, Cecily. Oh, I can talk with her. Or inquire. Let's see. Moniker, the coin counter. <laughs> the coin counter. Nice. Height, three cubits and one span. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Piss off. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's beautiful. <laughs> if you don't mind my asking, how heavy are you? Piss off. <laughs> Never heard of no bloody coin counter, but at a glance, I'd say most anything will do. Swords, daggers, staves, or you could try setting her on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I gonna have to fight Cecily at some point? Like, <laughs> the frick? Alright, well, after that, no. I'm ready to go, Cecily. The journey is about to begin. Are you ready? Good. Let's do this thing. Good, then let's go in. Okay, so, how's this dungeon gonna be laid out? Oh. Gather round. Oh, is this just gonna be like, uh, is this gonna be like a boss rush, basically? Another year has passed, and the day of days has come again. Eight champions, strong and true, have emerged by their metal, character, and fortune. Who shall emerge victorious? Bring it on! Yeah! Coming up! <laughs> the shields are polished and the blades are wetted. It only remains to be seen. Who shall stand triumphant when the rest have fallen? Oh, Nelly. Step forward, brave warriors. He has been grand champion for four tournaments in a row. He is the reigning king, but will he meet his king slayer today? Behold, Archibald the Crusher, mightiest of the mighty. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Archibald, have at him. Show that black knight how it's done. They say the blood of men turns to ice in the frozen wastes of the north. Just a tale, mayhap. But let no man deny that the steel of this man's blade is as biting as the ice in his eyes. Joshua Frostblade! Yeah! Sir Joshua! <laughs> hey. Take my favor, sir. I beseech you. Okay. So he's the one that has, like, the ladies swooning over him. Our next fighter spent years learning the art of war, mastering pikes, halberds, spears, and all things long and pointy. Misjudge his peasant's weapons at your peril. Last man what did found himself skewered before he could so much as lift his fancy blade in the shortest fight of the tourney. His lance dances then spits you like a pig, for it's Conrad the Impaler. Okay. Stick it to him, Conrad! Archibald's sword ain't the half of your pike. He's been second to only one man, always the last man bested. But this year, will it be his opponent who bends his knee on the final day? Many say aye, for this year he will at last usurp the king. His sword strikes with the ferocity of a savage beast. Wallace Wildsword is here to claim the king's crown. Okay. <clears throat> Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Next is an impregnable fortress of a man. Neither axe nor sword has ever sundered his shield. He is an immovable force. He can no more be toppled than a mountain. If the battle goes to the last man standing, how can he not emerge victorious? He is Grieg the Unbreakable. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, God's a mercy, look at the size of him. Me prize bold look like a rabbit next to him. Next is a mystery knight, a dark horse, one might say, who has swatted away all challengers with contemptuous ease. The arena has not seen the likes of his swordplay in many a year. Could this man be our new champion? Gustav the Black Knight. Whoa! Yeah. Hurrah! Hurrah! Cut them down where they stand, Gustav! You're the only one who can defeat the king! Last, but let us not say least, for this last minute entrant defeated none other than Victorino the Buccaneer's Bane! Does he deserve to be here, or does he not? You've all had your say! But hear this, the rule of the tourney is writ clear, mights makes right, and let no man disavow what another claims by feat of arms! So raise a cheer for Ulbrich, the Unbending Blade! Ah! <laughs> the Unbending Blade? I've heard the tales, but... That's it! <laughs> show us the might of proud Hornburg! Okay. Here stand your eight champions. Now only the duels remain. Okay. Oh, greetings. Hello, Gustav. So you're Ulbrich, are you? Yes. And if you know who I am, then you also know that you'd be looking for Sir Earhart. I? I see I don't need to explain. Sir Earhart spoke enough of you, but what you're seeking has a cost. Tell me, knight. You know what this place is? A place where a man's worth is measured. Hmm. Okay. Tell me, Sir Ulbrick, to what end do you swing that blade? Hmm. I was... You were what, Ulbrick? I was once a knight of the realm. I wielded my sword for king and country. But as for now, to tell the truth, I cannot say. So... I'll see you in the final. Mm -hmm. All right, and he's off. All right, prepare, then talk to Cecily. Okay, so it's literally going to be I can run around and prepare, and when I want to go on to the next fight, just talk to Cecily. Got it. Tisk, is something troubling you? Aye, I am dwelling upon a happening from the past. An unhappy memory? Thou couldst say that. Master once wagered a great sum at the arena, and lost it all. He had received payment for a hunt, but was left destitute and unable to return in home. That was not very masterly of him. Indeed, to pay in off his debts, we were enforced to share in our earnings for many months after, and oft went hungry. Visiting this arena hath brought back the memory of that bitter time. I am sorry to hear that. Forgiven me, I did not will to burden thee with my woes. Nor shall I let in them hindereth our mission here. Hmm. Okay. So what's all here, anyway? Oh, hello, who are you? It is an honor. Oh, Joshua. Let us fight honorably and fairly, good sir. Okay. So I can inquire this guy and I guess just find out his weaknesses. Let's see. Moniker, Frostblade. Height, four cubics. Weight, ten stones. Cold as ice and willing to sacrifice anything for his love. Or so I hear. So put him down with fire and light. Or a staff or axe between the eyes. Yeesh. Okay. Fire, light, staff, and axe. So that's three of my characters that can bring down his, uh, that can bring down his defenses. Nice chatting with you. Okay, so am I able to leave? Okay, apparently so. So if I figure out his weakness, I can come back out here 
uh, head to the inn and pick up the appropriate character. Okay, nice. Well, that's easy enough. But I think we actually have a pretty good setup now. So yeah, let's go for it. Are you ready? Let's do this thing. Are you yeah. ready? And now for the fourth battle. From the West Gate comes Ulbrich. Good luck to you, knight. You'll need it. You'll be fine. Just do exactly what you did to the others. I'll be back soon. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Joshua. You can do it. Ulbrich, you're twice the man he is. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. The name is Joshua. Your name and renown reached even the distant corners of my snowbound home. Ulbrich Eisenberg, and the honor is mine. The climbs in your land may be harsh, but its sons have warm manners. Yeah, I'd say so. You honor me, sir, but know that there is no warmth in my sword, and it will deliver the victory I promised to my dearest Angela. So you fight for a woman. I fight for love, and today you will know how powerful that is. All right, then. Let's go. Begin. First round, fourth duel. Let the battle begin. All right, let's go. I will not fail. All right, so this is a matter of... Oh, wait, no. Never mind, only one of his weaknesses is covered up. Well, seeing as it's at the end, I'm guessing it's one of the elemental weaknesses. So let's see... All right, well, I already know Ulbrich can't really do anything against his defenses because I believe they mentioned staffs, axes, light, and fire. So I'll have Ulbrich fight the, <laughs> the dapper duelist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, let's go. All right, the dapper duelists are nuts. Oh, boy. Prelude to romance. Jeez. Well, anyway, the Dapper Duelists aren't weak to swords. Do they have the same weaknesses as their boss there? Let me see. They weak to spears? Nope. All right. So yeah, Ulbrich's not going to be able to do much in this fight. Oh. No, they don't have the same weaknesses. Hmm. Are they weak to axes at least? No. Okay, so what are these guys weak to? All right, well, let me see. Joshua's already down to one, so I can just stop him from attacking basically at any point. So let's see, are the Dapper Duelists weak to bows? Yes, they are. Okay, there we go. That's something I can use. All right, so everyone's got full boost points now. Uh, Ophelia and Alphen, I'll have them hold on to theirs, but I'll have Honnet and Ulbrich do some damage to these bad boys. So let's see. Let's see how Joshua likes a true strike. There we go. Uh, do a quick heal spell. And I'll bump it a little. There we go. Basically up to full. And... Well, you know what? Might as well. He had mentioned a weakness to light, so I'll hit him with luminescence and see. Okay, so only Joshua's weak to light. Got it. Well, anyway, since he's open yes, now, let's hit him with Brand's Thunder. I yeah. Since I can, I might as well break that guy's defenses. Bring it on. And now, Alfin. Yeah, Alfin, you know what? Go ahead and do a full strike amputation on Joshua. Booyah. Okay, now he's back. I will not fail you, my love. Okay. What'd he just do? He didn't heal himself because he's still in the yellow zone. Did he boost some of his stats or something? Rhapsody of Love. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Dang it, he inflicted confusion. Alfin, you got anything for that? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, luckily Ophelia isn't the heaviest hitter on my team, so it shouldn't do much. She does only have one move before Alfin goes, so we should be okay. There we go. Yeah, only 32 damage. But I really don't feel like having my healer running around whacking people in the back of the head. So let's go ahead and rehabilitate her. I got just what you need. 
There we go. Much better. Hit him with another Brand's Thunder. Wabam! Do a little heal wounds. Hanet. Yeah, Hanet do a true strike. Oh, Joshua's in the red. Okay, we're doing it. There we go. What the frick? Joshua gets two turns? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, is that what he did when he said, I shall not fail, my love? Oh yeah, possibly, because he gets two turns next turn as well. Oh, Nelly. Well, let's go ahead and try and put a stop to that. There we go. Bring it on. And then just one more, and there we go. And, oh dang it, Olbert doesn't have enough for Brand's Thunder. Crap, and Joshua gets his defenses back. Well, Joshua is pretty close to going down, so maybe I'll just hit him with a cross strike and see what that does. There we go, perfect. Nice. <laughs> Jeez, Brand's Thunder would have been frickin' overkill for that. Would have killed him like 10 times over. All right, well, now that we dealt with him, all that we have left are these duelists. All right, he's in the yellow. Is this gonna take him all the way down? Let's see. Booyah! Boo yeah. There we go. All right, quick amputation. Booyah. Uh, don't have enough for Brand's Thunder, so we'll just do a cross strike. Dang. That amputation brought him down to red. Is this gonna kill him? Yes, it will. Okay, there we go. First round, victory. All right, good show, sir. Ugh, Angela, forgive me. You fought well and bravely. You did no dishonor to your lady love. To fight for the love of a cherished one. Okay. Well, there we go. We won round one. Who is our next opponent? Hello, sir. Oh, wait a minute. You're the... You, aren't you the reigning champion? Archibald the Crusher. Yeah. Moniker Crusher. Height, four cubics, weight, 17 stones. Oh boy, <laughs> nice. Big bastard, this one. <laughs> oh boy. Big bastard, this one. So keep at distance and use a bow or close the gap and go to work with a dagger. I've seen folks fare well enough with ice and dark aspected attacks, but no one trick will be enough. It'll be a hard fight regardless. Okay, so bows, daggers, ice, and dark. So if I just swap out... Uh, Alfin for uh, Primrose, maybe. That would probably be a good uh, good combo. Nice chatting with you. So yeah, swap out Alfin and, whoop, and Primrose. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. They actually, they actually heal you between fights. That is actually very much appreciated. All right, Cecily, I'm ready for round two. What's up? What is it? Your next opponent is none other than Archibald the Crusher, the long-reigning king of the tourney. He's as strong and skilled as any, that's for sure. But it's his iron will that wins in battles more than anything. I'd tell you to look out for this or that, but the gods only know. With him, you gotta look out for everything. Okay, then. Ned can be overly dramatic, but he speaks the truth. Archibald's a more formidable foe by far than any you faced till now. Uh, wanna bet? <laughs> Formidably noted. God's teeth, ye got more spine than sense. Cracking japes at a time like this. This won't be the first time I fought a man whose skills matched or surpassed my own. And I dare say it won't be the last. Are you ready? Alright, and now for the second match of the second round from the Westgate, Ulbrich Eisenberg! Whatever happens, just give it everything you've got. We'll find out soon enough if that'll suffice. All right. I see. I. Here we go. 
Let's dance, Archibald. Ow. The unbending blade in the flesh, eh? Step up from the usual riffraff they throw my way. My father was one match away from winning his fifth tourney in a row when his challenger's sword found his breast. Now it's my turn to do what he could not. And that is why you fight, to honor your father's memory. Aye, now let's get on with it. All right, straight to the point. So be it. Here we go. Let the battle begin! On your guard! <laughs> On your guard! Ah! Oh boy, really? With that already? Alright, but I do but I think I do see what they're doing here. Since the la the last guy had one weakness covered, this guy has two weaknesses covered. Next guy will probably have three, and then finally all of them. So let's see, it was bows, daggers, ice, and dark. So let's see, are these guys weak to swords? They are not. Okay, damage isn't too bad. But yeah, Archibald's definitely gonna get this big attack off, so I gotta brace myself. Okay, there we go, there's his bow weakness. And there's daggers. Here he comes! Oh, jeez! All right! Ow! So he did upwards of 600 damage to my whole party and lowered their attack power. Nice. <laughs> Heal us up, Ophelia. Aye, aye, aye. All right, well, since half this guy's weaknesses are covered, I'll use Primrose to bring him down to one defense. Uh, so that way I can stop any big attacks really quickly in the future and then focus on his two buddies here. So let's see, I think I hit this guy first. Is he weak to spears? Nope, okay. Not bows either, great. Ow. How about stabs, you weak to those? Yes you are, perfect. Dang it, they're not weak to daggers either. Axes? Okay, thank you. Oh no, ow. Jeez, this guy can do some damage. Jeez, even his basic attacks do almost 400. There we go. All right, now that that guy's open, see what kind of state brand Thunder leaves him in. Oh, I actually took him down completely. Okay, nice. There we go. Oh boy. Dang it, I just realized I forgot to upgrade Primrose's dagger. Jeez Louise, Primrose is only doing 37 damage with that thing. Oh boy. Well, oh dang it. And they can cause freaking unconsciousness. Oh boy. <laughs> These guys are just full of surprises, aren't they? All right, so Oldbrook's gonna be out for a couple turns. Ow. Luckily doesn't matter as much because he can't lower their defenses anyhow. Yeah, so we'll just use everyone else to lower these guys' defenses so that they are wide open for when Ulbrich finally regains consciousness. All right, so I got Archibald down to one defense. So he's primed to be taken down, but I, so I think I'll use Primrose to give Ulbrich a healing grape. Because dang, he took a beat in there. All right, now do that. Perfect. Well then. And then heal everyone else up, just like so. And then Ulbrich can use Brand Slender on the freaking gladiator there. Uh, just as soon as Hanit whacks him with an axe. There we go. And this should, like the last guy, take him down. Come on, Hawkeye! Oh, okay, this guy's a bit tougher than his buddy. Still brought him down to red, though, so... I don't think it'll take much more. Yep, there we go. Nice. I'll do my best. All right, well, Ophelia can't really do much to his defenses, so I'll just have her top off our health. There we go. And here comes Archibald. Oh, dear. Okay, that could have been worse. N nice job, Primrose. <laughs> All right, Archibald. Let's do this thing. All right, so Primrose's daggers aren't doing much. Let's see how much damage Moonlit Waltz will do to him. Okay, that's decent. That's not bad. 
Uh, do a quick cross strike. There we go, 600, I'll take it. Heal everybody up. Let your wounds be healed. And then Hanit. If thou darest. Hanit, just do a true strike. Aim and carefully shoot a true. There we go. All right, now Archibald's back. Oh, nope, beginning. not quite yet. Another true strike incoming. Bam! And we lowered his defenses. Beautiful. Oh dear. Urgh. All right, Ophelia, give uh, Ulbrick an Inspiriting Plum. And then Hanit. Yeah, I guess Hanit just start lowering his defenses again. All right, just attack him with Ulbrick once. Do that. Archibald gets a turn now. Ow. Okay. At least it was against Ulbrich. Because <laughs> Ulbrick can take a freaking beating. And by the looks of it, I don't have to waste the boost points because I get three turns where I can lower his defenses. So yeah, just like that. Oh, don't even need to wait till next turn. There we go. Now then. Maxed out true strike. Booyah. And now... Brand's Thunder. I wreak havoc upon thee! Dag nabbit, I've hit him with two of those. Okay, but well at least he's in the red. So yeah, we're whittling him down. Bring about a miracle of healing! Alright, just heal everyone up to brace for Archibald's next move. Which is just a basic attack. Oh dear. Never mind. Okay, let's see. Hanit and Primrose get... Three attacks, thanks to those boost points. Yeah, we should be okay. So just do that. Perfect. And then Hanit, do the same thing with the bow. Oh, nice, there we go. Perfect. Let me see, how close is this guy to going down? He's in the red zone for health, so he's gotta be getting there. Come on, Archibald. How much Come more back. health you got? If he can survive a maxed out true strike at this point, then dang, he deserves to win. There we go. Perfect. All right. There we go. Ooh, and we got an Olive of Life M for free. Nice. Because <laughs> those things are bloody expensive. Yeah. What? Are my eyes to be believed? The king has been dethroned. Victory goes to Ulbrich Eisenberg! Like father, like son, I have failed him. Rejoice, fool. You won the battle. Don't you fret for me. I'll just start another winning streak. As long as I have breath in my lungs and strength in my arms, I'll keep swinging this blade. You fought to honor the memory of a man long dead, but is that enough for the likes of me? Hey, there we go! Whoa! <laughs> Archibald yields! For the first time in four years, the king will not fight in the final battle! The Black Knight versus the Unbending Blade. Whatever befalls, there shall be a new king at tourney's end. Okay, there we go. Archibald was a pretty cool dude. Got a bit of travel banter here. Let's see. Hey, Ophelia. Why do I fight? What's the matter, Ulbrich? You look deep in thought. Indeed, I am. I realize that every man who takes up arms has a reason to do so. I have tried not to dwell on the many men who have fallen to my blade. But now I find myself asking, why do I fight? Why do I wield this sword? I can't pretend to know much about swords and soldiers. But I have noticed one thing. You're different from other fighting men I have known. There's a kindness in you. I sense tenderness and mercy to those whom you're forced to vanquish. Whatever your reason turns out to be, I'm glad you fight alongside us. I have never thought of myself in that way. Thanks be to you, Ophelia. Your words give me strength. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right, there we go. So let's see. I'm guessing our next opponent is Gustav. Yep. How's it going, fella? Oh. All right, I don't have Alfin on my team right now. All right. Howdy, buddy. Mind if we have a little chat quickly? 
All right. Moniker, the Black Knight. Height, four cubits. Weight, 13 stones. If you've come this far, then you hardly need my advice. But if you're asking, then I'd say stick to the tried and true. A sharp spear, a heavy axe, a fine bow, and a quiver full of arrows. Despite the name, I suspect he's weak against dark aspected attacks, and I've yet to meet a man who didn't burn. Nice chatting with you. All right, so for once, Old Brick can actually take down his defenses. So let me see, what would be a good team then? Honestly, I think we have a decent team here because uh, the first three members of my party right now are able to use three of his weaknesses. And heck, Hanit has two of them, so yeah. I think we're good here. But we will need to continue this in the next part. So yeah, while I was recording this episode, I ended up with a lot more footage than I originally intended. And as such, the episode itself turned out a lot longer than I thought it would. So I just decided to cut it in half and release it in two different parts. And you guys can come back next week to see me take on Gustav the Black Knight. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. My name is Al, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!